What's up, friends and real ones? Welcome back to the channel. I am Real Grog, and around here I explore the open worlds of post-apocalyptic and survival gaming. Tonight's adventure is taking us even deeper into Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are deep in the story now. We're getting close to the halfway point, but if you're new around here and you are not familiar with what's been going on, we've been exploring the, what I recently learned, 15th century of Kingdom Come Deliverance, where uh, King Sigismund has invaded uh, the uh, the 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 kingdom of uh sir of sir uh wenceslas the idol uh basically he's taken over and in that attempt to gain more power privilege and money uh he uh he destroyed our loving henry in his town uh killed his parents brought them uh to their utter uh, utter demise which really sucks and uh and that kicked us out of our home he took everything from us we then escaped and we've been uh rebuilding a life and uh and working towards gaining a bit of revenge on those who wronged us so uh it's been very exciting so far last week we continued the uh, the detective work and the investigation that led us up from the uh from the victimized horse stables that were all slaughtered uh, that led us even further north into the town of Ushitz, where we uh, had a totally innocent night uh, and did not have an orgy with a priest uh, or give a sermon uh, while very hungover and holding in all of the uh, all of the uh, well vomit, for lack of a better term. So, you know, it was an interesting evening last Monday, and uh, at the end of it, we bought a new horse. We also won our first round of the of the Grand Tourney, the Grand Tournament of Champions in Rete. Uh, we got our first victory there, defeating Black Peter, which was a very tough very difficult fight but we got there in the end we we won we we came out on top and i'm hoping tonight we'll get another round under our belt as well as continuing the investigation into uh into this uh crazy mixed up uh bit of danger that we found ourselves in the middle of uh yeah, if you are not familiar or you want to see more of all that stuff, there is an entire playlist on the channel right now that is ready for all of you to uh, take a look at. So please feel free to go in, check it all out once you're done here. Uh, if you're not familiar, get caught up, rewatch it all. Or if you already know, watch it again. Why not? There's a lot going on. Uh, there is so much to do, so much to cover still. So we're going to keep on pounding away at this tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, continuing the investigation, we're going to get Henry even more uh, better equipped and strengthened and, uh, and ready to uh, deal out some justice. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you, as always, for being here on this beautiful Thursday night. We're getting a bit warmer now. Sun's coming out, and it's shining through my door as we speak. But welcome into The Real Ones New Zone. Miss Marin, Damon, Preble, and Kevin emphatically starting off the chat with a triumphant. Let's go! 
and I couldn't say it any better myself. Absolutely. Miss Marin admitting that she fell asleep at the end of the last stream. You know, it got pretty chill for a little while there, and uh, and I can't blame you for for, uh, for for falling asleep a little for a little bit, but that's totally okay. Welcome in, Damon Preble. Hey, Rogue Rock and Chad. Welcome in, my friend. Great to see you. Uh, sounds like you're doing great. That is exactly how I like to hear it. Phenomenal to have you. Uh, Newzo, good, good evening, everyone. Tuning in at work. Hope everyone is having a good time. If there's one thing I will always support, it's getting paid while watching a real Grog stream. So well done, my friend. Uh, but don't get in any trouble on my on my account. Uh, it was a great stream. I really enjoyed it. But thank you so much. I had a lot of fun last week. Like I said, uh, had a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of twists and turns up in the town of Ushitz, which is where one Henry learned to read, uh, and then. Uh, also, uh, learn a bit more about Father Simon, who has a lot of a, a big past, uh, but was also uh, able to be uh, be a part of us convincing the townsfolk of Ushitz that boozing and and womanizing and uh, living a life of 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 fun and excitement in the in the simplistic villages that we live in is okay, I suppose. So, uh, every night, four times a week. Hey, nice. Well, good for you, my friend. Um, a mood buff yes exactly uh yeah welcome in john decano well good evening sir let's have some fun tonight absolutely my friend welcome in great to see you again thank you all for stopping on in tapping that like button right off the bat to hopefully get more eyes on this video as well but the just i appreciate you so much for being here taking time out of your night to join us on this adventure uh i gotta say it's been so nice for me to hear uh that everyone's really been enjoying kingdom come that they've been enjoying the story that we're having a great time with it so i'm so grateful that you're all enjoying it because as i've said ad nauseum this is one of my favorites of all time. I adore it, and I, I, I'm so happy to hear that it seems to be translating well to all of you out there, because it's one thing to be playing it. It's one thing to be able to be as Henry and getting better at all the skills, uh, but the story alone is really, really great, and so it's fun to have this adventure with you, and I'm so happy to hear that you're all enjoying it. So thank you again for being here, for supporting this, for supporting me, and uh, for enjoying the journey. So if you are enjoying it, you know, of course, as always, leave a comment on the video afterwards. If you don't have anything to say, throw your favorite remote in there do whatever you want just a little bit of conversation on this video to let me know what you think of it or what i could do better uh or what you want to see in the future all that stuff is fair game love to have it but in the meantime thank you so much once again for being here let's go ahead and drop on into the game huh so here we are back at the rete mill which uh at the end of last stream we purchased this beautiful black stallion uh ha -ta -la -ta -la -ta -ta. and uh this horse has done a great job we're gonna have to get her equipped with a well actually we're gonna have to get him equipped with a uh, saddle, bridle, and, uh, and some stirrups, things like that. So we can definitely improve our horse's uh, standing with with how he is right now. Actually, I just had an idea. So we sold our other horse in a turn-in, um, and I wonder. Okay, awesome. So we actually we do have two plain bridle and a saddle already. So instantly, boom, a little bit better there, a bit more equipped. I've been I've been barebacking my horse for a while, so not a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, hello, 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 Kevin. Did I uh, did I miss that earlier? I think I may have missed that. But of course, my friends, it's only been a few days since we've been together, but welcome back. Let me know how you've been, how your week's treating you. Hopefully everything's going beautifully. Uh, speaking of which though, so today's drip, Henry crushing it with the, with the black on brown and then highlighted with a little touch of blue in there as well. My boy is crushing it because uh, we're planning on going to talk to Teresa. So we, we got to make sure. Oops. What did I just do? I just took off my I just took off my propon. Did I drop my propon? Oh, I moved it to the horse. I'm going to do that a thousand times tonight. Um, so I did a couple of things. Nothing crazy at all. Off stream, I of course trained with Captain Bernard a few times, which I highly recommend to those new players out there. I highly recommend training with Captain Bernard at least once a day, starting or ending your day uh, by by having a, a live sparring session with him will definitely benefit you in the long run. So I did a bit of that. So as you'll see here, my my strength and agility, all that is looking pretty good. Uh, 11, 10, 8 on, on, on Vitality, and we're getting to speech as well, which I'm very excited about because there's a great perk that I mentioned last stream. Uh, now, I just upped my defense a touch here, and this is a really fun part because we've already gotten basically the end tier options for defense. So, Gollum, I usually do that one last. I'm not too concerned about... I'm a bit off-center, says Miss Marin. Let's see if I can... Uh, how do you... How do you... How, how's that? I'll be a little, a little more centered. 
Uh, I'm a little off center, but look, but sounding good. As long as you can hear me, that's the important part. Uh, Night shining armor. This one's this one's pretty cool. In sunny weather, the glint of your armor will dazzle everyone so much you'll be taken for a noble knight and get a charisma bonus. The more plate armor components you wear, the higher the bonus. So if I was decked out head to toe in bright shiny plate mail and it was a beautiful sunny day, people would be blinded by my charisma. Essentially, I love that. Uh, well worn. This is usually the one I go to at this stage in the game. You're able to equip your armor, weapons, and other items so clever that they are one third lighter than they actually weigh in the inventory which is just awesome so everything i'm wearing will have a slight uh, a slightly uh, smaller weight encumbrance so i'm definitely going to do that right off the bat one i also have another perk that i just unlocked where if i'm not wearing any plate i can actually move and dodge a lot easier so this is a great opportunity to kind of find that middle ground lighten up the load so i can move more easily uh, i've got one more in in uh in maintenance which i just unlocked that as well um so this one if i'm wearing boots i repaired myself i can sprint longer which is great but savile row this is probably what i'm going to go with because again i want that charisma right off the bat and i'm fixing a lot of my clothes and stuff more frequently so savile row is what i'm going to go with it gives me a nice little boon boon to my uh to my charisma as if i need it i'm just kidding Ugh. okay so Henry, crushing it, looking great. Now, you'll also notice, um, if you see behind my camera, where you can't see, if you just look behind that, you'll see that I now am level 10 in agility with a little buff on there. So what we're gonna be able to do now, very excitingly, is we're gonna be able to wield the sword we've been waiting so patiently to wield. Boom, this guy right here, the old family heirloom. We're gonna take that, and we're gonna see how this stacks up to our merchant sword. We've been wielding the merchant sword for a little while here, but this one is hilariously worse. That's really funny. It is worse in every way. So I've been waiting for nothing. Uh, and it's a short... Oh, it's a short sword. Okay, that makes more sense. So I am actually gonna gonna bring that with just for just for fun. Um, oops, that's the wrong button. And I will also bring my warhammer. So if later on in combat, if I'm not paying attention, uh, if I'm not paying any attention, please let me know if I am... Uh, if I am uh, forgetting to switch to my, uh, if I'm forgetting to switch to a Warhammer, if I say I want one later on, please let me know. Please remind me of that very thing. That I'm going to have it on my horse. It's going to be in the, in my saddle, ready for me to rock. Okay, let's get back into that. There we go. And what I mean by that is I'm going to take my weapons that are heavy, and I'm going to give that to my horse, and I'm going to give that to my horse as well. Um... Cool, cool. All right, so at the end of the last journey, of course, we found Limpy Lubosh, who was a uh, kind of a loser, kind of limp. Not that, not that that makes you a loser, but he was uh, not very well liked in the town that he lived, and he was always doing some shady stuff. And we found him, or what was left, I should say, strung up, uh, gutted, and bashed in, uh, bloodied armor, and a handwritten, I should say, blood smear written note accusing him of being a Judas. Uh, so he was not taken out nicely. But in that town, we also discovered that uh, from Father Simon, after our night of debauchery, that the next lead would lead us to the town of Ledechka, which is going to be a bit more up here. I mentioned it's one of my favorite towns because there's a lot to do and lots of skills we can increase, and it's just a really good spot to be in. That is going to be our next destination for the investigation. In the, but before we get to there, we're going to take care of a couple of things. One, I'm going to ride up here. We're going to warm up again tonight. I really liked that routine last time of warming up a bit more with a bit of combat. And I think we're going to go take out this camp leader. This this quest is an, continuing uh, the bandit clearing section of uh, what Captain Bernard is asking us to do. He's, he's asking us, please take out the villains in this area. And so we're going to do that for him. We're going to go ahead and head on up there, clear out that camp, and then we'll head up to let Ledechko, but I also have a little surprise in store for us as well, uh, especially now seeing that this sword kind of sucks. Uh, so that's actually really funny. So let's go ahead and head on over to kill the camp leader. Um, okay, looking like I'm still... Um, there we go. I've been I've been modifying the camera angle a slight bit to, uh, to try to get a cooler, sort of unique look, and I feel like I'm not quite doing it right. There we go. There we go. That should be a bit better. So then when I look this way, nice. Um, nice. Miss Marin is telling us that I bought myself a Lego set for the first time in probably decades, and my inner child 
is thriving. I'd love to hear it, Miss Marin. Love to hear it. Once you're finished with the completed set, definitely feel free to, or if you want to throw us uh, the stages of production, please feel free to post that in, in the Discord, of course. Uh, by the way, we're going to chat with, with God Teresa. God be with you, Henry. Congratulations on your victory in the tournament. Oh, did you hear about that, Teresa? <laughs> no big deal. Well, I did bring you something. I brought you something. I brought her a lovely plain dress. Oh, how lovely. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really interesting. So I typically only give Teresa really nice stuff, like really fancy sort of sort of dresses, and she does react differently. This one, she definitely was uh, was like, oh, thanks. That's great. How have you been? So, uh, how have you been? I mean, come on. I just I, I just bathed. My clothes, are, my clothes are all cleaned up. I know. Time to it's chat at the little lady. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? Oh, here we go. That's Henry. not a bad idea. Attaboy. I've got lots to do right now. But I'd love to go another time. Will you come and see me again? Absolutely. As her ladyship commands. <laughs> you jester. Uh, so I could ask her again, but she'd get kind of annoyed. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Have some time. I'll come back. Actually, let's see. Let's see what the uh, what that is. So courtship. Go to Teresa before noon. Okay, so that is what I got to do. What time is it right now? Okay. All right. So then maybe we'll go fight some bandits and then take her out for a date, huh? Come on, Mutt. Yeah. You'll also remember the last week we uh, we added Mutt to our accompaniment. So we've got a phenomenal little hound following us around. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, we have our new horse. Cuddle, 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 cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she rejected me right now because I gave her a weak dress. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. You know, Teresa deserves the best. Um, oh, that's awesome. Yes, Damon Preble, absolutely. Legos are the best thing ever. You are 100%. Legos are the absolute best. A timeless way to play. Well said, absolutely. Um, hey, Chili Santa, I am about to shower, but I'll be back. Absolutely, my friend. Well, I'm sure a long day at work deserves a nice hot shower. Yeah. So please come on, come on back whenever you're feeling good. Great to see you, buddy. Uh, give her jewelry next time. I certainly will try. Um, it's important to consider that she prefers gold or silver jewelry. Yeah. She doesn't care. She is indifferent. She just likes the shiny stuff. Yeah. Uh, until you step on one. <laughs> oh, yes. Legos are the best until you find them with your foot in the middle of the yeah. night. A uh, little more laced and low v-neck for her dress next time. I will certainly keep my eyes peeled for that. I will go steal the best dress I can find. Uh, I'm a bit low on yeah. funds because I did buy a couple of things. I also bought a horse, of course, at the end of the uh, at the end of the last stream. Yeah. But I've also sp spent a little bit of dough to uh, train Henry a little bit. So we've we've I've level leveled up a few skills. Yeah. Um, and I just didn't want to bore you with watching all that stuff. Literally nothing exciting about it. So, okay, we are approaching. I believe. Yes, we are right outside the area. How are we doing on Savior Schnapps? Which, if you don't remember, you have to drink Savior Schnapps to save your game. Uh, and you know what? We haven't really done much. Um, well, first of all, always make sure when you are dressing to impress Teresa that you then go back in and dress for war. I've done that so many times where I'm in there chatting up and all of a sudden I realize that I'm wearing basically nothing and running headlong into a fight. So... Uh, the Lords of Lipa, by the way, these are our recently acquired gauntlets that we won fair and square in the heat of the tournament. Be proud, real ones. Be very proud. All right. We are equipped. We've got our gear. We're going to go ahead and get off our horse here. And you know what? I am going to save it right... Ah, screw it. We'll roll the dice. We'll roll the dice. We got this, right? We got this. Um... Okay, bye. Says <laughs> Chili Santa. See you soon, buddy. Okay. So this is camp three out of five or six, something like that. So, of course, it's going to be a little tricky. But based on our experience last time, we're doing well. We're starting to learn some combat. We're learning some combos. Uh, the biggest thing that I recommend when, when going to take care of these camps is to keep your eyes peeled for dogs. Uh, small, uh, sad as it can be, uh, they are relentless and one of the biggest pains in the ass. So you definitely want to... Ah, shoot. 
So you want to take them out early if they do charge you, because they will... Come on, that is just terrible. Uh-oh. Hey, all, all right, so here. terrible Raise shot. Let's see if I can snake some water. Oh, right in the side of the dome. Man, I've been playing a little bit too much Helldivers, I think. Now, you'll see that skill that just unlocked. I just got that one today. And that's great because it actually uh, it gives me a plus one strength bonus if I get people bleeding. And what I really enjoy about that is that it also is a good indicator that you've done damage to your foe. Come on now. Henry of Scallets, baby. Shut up. Okay, somebody just punched... Okay, so... So these mutts here, this is what I'm talking about. They are just terrible. Come on, lock on to the damn thing. There we go. Uh, so I apologize if that makes you sad, but they're mutts, and they're terrible, and they're really, really mean, and he just bit my dog. Okay, so we made really beautiful short work of them. That was hilarious. Uh, but I'm guessing some of them might have ran away, because that was too easy. But, camp... Cleared. Nice. Get that guy shot in the head. He'll probably be coming back, and I want that arrow. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look around the camp. I think the leader is over in that field. Still can't, uh, still can't lock hard locks. That's okay. All right, are you my, are you my guy? Yes. All right, cool. So we got the captain right off the bat. Uh, because I'm a little broke, I am going to start taking a few more things than I normally would. You know me, I like to just get the good stuff. But, desperate times call for desperate measures. But all this stuff is pretty much garbage. So, see you later. Alright, that was, that was too small of a camp. I, I wish there was, I want there to be more guys. I need more, I need more money. Need more money. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll just call it a win and we'll get the hell out of here. Stampede the horse, because why not? How do I do it? Oh, I also, uh, I also took a perk that allows me to be way more successful in the clinch. So when you, uh, when you are in that moment of uh, close combat, like real close combat with an opponent, I have a much higher chance to win, and it has been working. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, once again, as is always required in this beautiful game, take a moment and just enjoy the beautiful environment. It's just so nice. So beautiful. Serene, even. My dog's just chilling. I'm gonna go and praise him. That's a good boy. Yeah. That's my boy. Now, I hope I have food well, for him. You'll love this. I don't know if I do. I do not. Sorry, buddy. So, your dog actually will get mad if you do that too many times. If you promise him food and then you don't actually give him any. So, I did see some rabbits around here. Let's, let's, oop. I see a rabbit. And a coward. Let's see if we can snag him. Oh, what a shot! What a bad shot! What this right here, though? Oh, that was close. All right, well, I'm gonna let him run away. I'm gonna get this rabbit. And actually, check this out. I can hold X. I can have Ring. Mutt fetch me the fetch me my hunt, which is awesome. Ooh, that would have been really cool. All right, and then he'll bring me that. I'm going to get into it, take my stuff, and then be like, hey, buddy, good job. Raise him that's again. A, that's my boy. And then give me a little food. Got, you'll love this. There you go, buddy. And then you drop the food, and then he'll go snack on it, and that all is just uh, increased. kind of like Red Dead Redemption, if you remember that, uh, or if you ever played that. See, you get a little boost up. Uh, you treat your dog better, and they're very happy. Let's see what other commands we have. Uh, okay, so you can always tell him to just go back to the mill, which he'll he'll sit there, he'll chill out, and he'll wait for you, uh, so you don't really need to worry about him if you're having if he's running the way of combat, or you just don't really want him to hang out. 
Uh, Miss Merritt asking the important questions tonight. What y'all eating? I need dinner ideas. That is always a tough one. Whenever I can't think of anything, soup. Soup, soup, soup. You can layer flavors. You can add it in slowly. You can just make a really delicious dish over time. And it's hard to mess it up, too, you know? It's like, just let it all simmer. If it all goes terribly wrong, you can just blend it. All right, buddy. I've had enough of you walking around. Oh, it's just a little short. What's that? What's that? Boom, there we go. Oh, now he's going to run away again. Oh, come on. I'm so tired of this guy. Come on. I, bet I got him right here. Right here. Oh, garbage. All right. Well, whatever. Nah, I need his ear. I need your ear. Totally normal, right? All right. Well, my plan was to track him, track him to my horse, and then, then depart from here. And that's, that's. Oh, oh he's still there. How about this? Let's let's give an attempt to uh, horse combat, which is not my strong suit. I will admit. Where'd he go? <laughs> More blood for the blood god. Yes, indeed. Uh, these are all good guys. Yeah. Uh, welcome in. <laughs> welcome in, you stamp, by the way. Great to see you, bud. Yeah. I thought you'd only come around once a month. All right. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's just get out of here. Now, before we head right into the Ledechko, I am going to show you a nice little secret as well. Uh, we're going to have to search around a little bit for it, but I'm pretty good about remembering its location. But I believe... So we're going to just go ahead and fast track. Now nah, we'll, 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 we'll ride to Ledechko. So let's head north uh, just to make sure we're uncovering the map because that'll, that'll yeah. save us a lot, of, a lot of questioning in the long run. Can't remember if there's a button I can. Okay, cool. So if I hold the number that's associated with it, that'll yeah. actually holster my weapon. What a beautiful birch forest. How lovely. Yeah. Got to go. Find a Ford. Where? Burgers and beers. That's a good one. That's a classic right there. That's a classic dinner. That's just good. All right, so we are on the outskirts of Ledechko. Now, this entire town, uh, what is Henry up to? Joel Benton, welcome in, my friend, asking the very important questions. So far, Henry has been uh, just doing a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of bandit clearing. We just rode out by the order of Captain Bernard. We rode into the woods and just destroyed a very simple small bandit camp. We have now arrived in Ledechko, which is the source of our next, uh, or the location of our uh, next step in the investigation of the bandits that brought down the horse farm a couple of weeks ago. And so we're here. We own a bed in town, which is great, so we have a place to stay. This little tavern is amazing. Love this place. Miller Oliver, of course. Hello. Uh, so the townsfolk are starting to show up, which is just fine. We don't really need anything from them. But right now, Henry is just kind of getting prepared to uh, take on some of these quests. We're going to, um, I'm going to actually take this quest off. I don't care about this one. Uh, let's go and do courtship because I want to make sure that we remember we're going to take Teresa, the mill wench, out tomorrow. Uh, before we get talking to anybody in town, I'm going to take us out of town for a short bit. And that hill right up there is actually where we're going to be heading. And I've got something really, really cool to show you. So from this moment, yeah. if you ride out of Ledechko, ride north. Yeah. Um, a bit of advice, though, and I, I'm yeah. telling this also to myself, 
is never think that just because you're close to town or, uh, you know, if you if you start to feel confident, remember that bandits are everywhere, and even peasants that are angry, you can get sprung up really quick in this. So always be aware that danger is, yeah, like right here, which is not where I meant to bring you. But hey. All right, we're gonna let him bleed out. Yeah, I didn't really mean to come out this way, but you know what? I'm gonna enjoy this. What are you gonna do? Hey, whoa, whoa, you're not supposed to win anything here. Let's take it easy. But hey, you know, Henry's got all this XP. He's got to do something with it. And he's taking out a couple of bandits hanging out on the outskirts of town. I think that's totally fair. I'm over here. Yeah. I can't tell if I've got another guy. Call that combat. Call that combat. Yes, I do. And now you're dead, son. Crunch. Oh, Henry is just brutal. Love it. Uh, but yeah, that's what Henry's up to so far there, Joel Benton. What are you up to, my friend? Hopefully your night's going beautifully. I appreciate you stopping on in, saying hi. We are just getting warmed up here. All right, I've got a torch, I believe. Leather gloves. I'll grab the leather gloves. They're good, worth a good pretty penny there. Now, these bandits seem a little different. These don't seem like um, the ones that uh, Bernard is sending me after. These are just more... Or your run-of-the-mill causing problems kind of bandits. All right, sleep, sleep, sleep. Is there anything here that I can like? No, one of them ran away. All right, so a whole lot of nothing there, but... Hmm... Yeah, horse and cowhide, those just are garbage, so this is just a garbage chest. Okay. Well. Good enough. Anyway, not what I came up here for. Let me show you. So from Ledechko, which you'll see once again, I am just a little north of, and I believe I'm going to be heading, like, right about here. Something like that. So let's... Easy, tiger. There we go. But, of course, it is getting dark. Your best bet. Always keep a torch on you. There we go. There we go. All right, now we're cooking. So what you want to see trigger is the... Um, is you want to see Woodland Garden. That'll give you a good example of... Oh, hey. I know this guy. <laughs> gotcha, buddy. Gotcha. I'll take that gold and your lockpicks, and I'll leave the rest for the crows. Yeah. All right. Now I think I'm getting pretty close. Yeah. Ah, uh, because while the world itself is randomly generated. Or, I mean, like, some of the loot and where things, certain things are. There are a lot of things that also maintain throughout. Okay, so boom. So this is what I was looking for. How close How close was I to my... I was pretty close. I was pretty damn close. Okay, I'll take that. Because here is the best thing possible. Unless they change it. I, I read something that might have changed. This chest right here, it is a hard level chest. You're going to have to have practiced your lockpicking a little bit. You're going to find the gold. There it is. And then you're going to try. Come on. Try to disarm it. There we go. Boom. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to give you a quick moment to peruse this inventory on your own as I gape in 
such awe. So first of all, we start off with 431 groschen in the bank. We then get a Kutenberg Curis, which is absolutely phenomenal with great stats on its own. Visually, it's a real treat and Kutenberg makes really, really great armor. Uh, that is actually the town that uh, King Sigismund, the kind of main antagonist in this game, initially took over uh, because of their massive silver stores. And uh, another reason why he attacks Scalots, we are also known for our, our silver production. Uh, but Kutenberg makes really excellent armor, and this Curus to be found in the middle of the woods, essentially for free, gorgeous. And I mean, look at that, it's worth 1.9 thousand. I'm sorry, or 1,900, I should say. Ours. Noble Shoes, excellent for a round town. Uh, recipe for Moonshine. So now I'll be able to read that, since we can read, and I will be able to now make Moonshine. This right here is a kind of a... Um, like an instruction book, essentially sharp as a knife four, but you have to be level 15 in its its respective skill before you can learn that one. But so we'll hold on to that, we'll leave that later. But then this, my friends, is the main reason that I brought us out here, St. George's Sword. I kid you not, this is the best sword in the game. This is the one that you will wield as long as you can. It is the best sword in this stage of the game, especially, but look at this, 72 damage. 70 freaking two it's a long sword it is gorgeous worth 2.2 it is the best three pounds and then the unpopular die which we'll take with us for farkle uh now the sword the only kicker here is we might be a little weak or oh my goodness we have exactly 12 uh 12 strength because of some of the boons that we have some of the buffs that we have uh this thing is primo it is the absolute best and we have the the fact that we can wield it right off the bat is just incredible so we are very lucky right now and uh henry's looking good he's going to be able to deal some damage uh which as you can see he's been doing a pretty solid job of that already after any interaction with enemies of course always be sure to repair your gear as best you can uh trying bit by bit to get your skills leveled up in your maintenance uh all right so that was exactly what i wanted to have happen there and again look at this so from the Dechko, if you're curious at all you would take this north. You could take the road if you wanted and take it all the way around, uh, which I think you can see my cursor now. Yes, I turned it on so you can finally see what I'm pointing at. You could take the road all the way north and you could ride it around and then right exactly where I'm standing, right on this bit of woods, which is a woodland garden. That'll unlock and you'll see this chest. Be able to unlock a hard chest and you're good to go. You have the best sword you can get. Incredible. How lucky are we? Uh, but yeah, so just very close to Ledechko or just ride north like I did. You will find that bandit camp more than likely, but nothing you can't handle. How cool is that? All right, so we took a little bit of a beating. We are slightly over, we are slightly encumbered. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can just, let's see, I'm pretty full. Uh, hair meat, I'm gonna drop all this because I don't really care. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this first. This is what you do. Just like before. Come here. Give me a little praise. Good fella. That's my boy. And we'll feel I've got. You'll love this. There you go, bud. You know what? I'll, I'll hold on to the. I'll hold on to the rabbit for now. I'll. I'll use it to cook him. Uh, John Decano agreeing with me. That's the one I use. Saint George. That's phenomenal. And welcome back, Chili Santa. Hopefully the shower treated you well. All right. Well, we've got a sweet sword. We've got our torch out. We're good to go. Horses over here. Barely encumbered, but that's okay. We're gonna sell some stuff in the morning. All right. But now, just to save us the hassle, I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, right, I'm too. Okay. I always forget that even on your horse you can't fast travel. Let's go ahead and just put our old sword in there. And now, now just a quick, easy, easy little jaunt. I know. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just go right to bed. Oh, wait. Where's my bed in this place? Here we go. Nice. Oh, I actually, I really like this little room. Very private. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to put away my... I'm going to put away some of my clothes. Put the blue hose away. I got some... I got some... I got some outfit ideas working. I was trying some stuff on before the stream, but we'll see how it goes. Leather, leather. I'll put those away for now. Mail coif. Uh, mine's better. Nobleman hose, I'll leave that for later. Noble shoes, I'll leave that for later. Plate. Silent shoes, love those. 
and a two-piece kettle hat. Uh, I'll sell that, but I'll leave it there for now. Food. Beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. As you can see, you get you get encumbered really quickly in this, so always be, always try to stay on top of your inventory management, uh, exciting as it is. All right, looking good there. Now, just to show you the difference here, look at this. So right now we've got on the lightweight dark brigandine. I really like that because of the mobility it allows us uh, because of the perks that we have. You know, we've got that uh, light armor perk, which actually, let me show you which one I'm talking about. Oh, never mind. I don't have it on right now because isn't this funny? So I don't have the perk. Uh, well, I've got a lot more stuff on than normal, but if I even just have these van braces on, just this little wrist armor, it actually counts as plate. And so that will take away your bonus. So you got to be really aware of what can and can't be worn with certain buffs. Ah, uh, but since we're... We're just going to crash. We're just going to knock off for the night. But I do want to show you how beautiful this is. Look at how beautiful that armor is. Look at that. Gorgeous. Smooth as eggs. Absolutely phenomenal. What a great Kyrus. I'm not going to wear it quite yet. I am going to put that away for a little bit of time. We're going to rock out the lightweight uh, Brigandine for a little longer. Um, but yeah, how awesome is that? Actually, I can't, I'm trying to remember if there is any... Uh... Okay, cool. Yeah, so... You... I couldn't remember if you had to have a certain strength or not to use this, but you're good to go as is. All right. Just for weight's sake, I am going to put that away. Uh, if you're just joining us, welcome in. We are resting up, and then in the morning, our plan is to continue the investigation to find... Uh, it was once Lumpy Lubosh. Now we are looking for Riki. So some people, some really unfortunate nicknames are uh, in our crosshairs. Um, but you know what I'm gonna do real quick? Because it's only, it's only 10.30. So I think, let's go ahead and go into our inventory and we should have a book. Sharp as a knife, not that one. Recipe for moonshine, but we'll read that real quick. Boom. And then marathon, this one right here. So this is gonna increase our, ooh, actually let's get our perk first. Cause if you just saw, we just leveled up our reading skill. Let's see what that can do. So let's go ahead and check out. So within the flow, when reading, you will get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. I'm going to ignore that one because later on, there's a much better perk that we're going to take instead of in the flow. Art connoisseur, the first time you look at a fresco, cross, or wayside shrine, your charisma will increase temporarily by two. I don't think that's necessary. Our Henry is going to be charismatic as hell. We're, we're repairing our gear for better buffs. I don't worry about that one either. But magistrate one, being well-learned, you make a better impression on people and get a plus one speech bonus when trying to persuade a guard. Huge! Because as you've seen, I certainly, uh, <laughs> I certainly have had uh, a couple of run-ins with the guards and any leg up you can get on chatting them uh, to let them, you know, get out of your face is good. So Magistrate 1 is exactly what we're going to do. All right, and then on that note, we're going to continue reading our book, and then we're going to crash for the night. Um, on that note, Kevin Anderson, hey guys, hope everyone is having a great night. Happy Henrying! It has been a phenomenal Henry session so far. He is crushing all competition in his way, and uh, hopefully your night is going just as well as Henry, Henry's combat prowess, which is very well right now. Well, welcome in, my friend. Great to have you, Kevin Anderson. Uh, we got a lot of Kevins in the chat. I'm loving it. Absolutely. Great to have you back. Look at that. Beautiful. So we improved our vitality two levels, or I'm sorry, a little bit, and then we got a new level in it, and we also got a new level in our main level. So this is such a fun time in this game. Or What I really like is I feel like the game really is once you cross a certain threshold, you get for over the first couple of levels, you keep pushing yourself, you get level ups in certain skills and things more and more and more, and it's very satisfying. 20 is the max level on everything though so definitely keep that in mind uh while you can get most oops well you can get most uh most perks a lot of things do contradict each other so you can't do that much like this brute cloak and dagger golden tongue thing but i'm kind of thinking so these two are fun so you got local hero or infamous speaking of two uh, counteracting buff options so for infamous with a low reputation in a given area, you also get a plus one bonus on strength, speech, agility, and vitality, but your reputation rises much faster than usual and the penalties for serving jail time are less. So pretty much you're a bad guy, people know you're a bad boy, so they're like, yeah, we know he is, but he's very charming. So you you will lose, your, your reputation will grow in town faster, which will eliminate the perks that you get from this. You kind of want to be a bad guy. Whereas the local hero is the opposite. 
If your reputation is high in an area, you get a plus one bonus on speech, strength, agility, and vitality there. At the same time, your reputation falls much faster. So if we're a good guy and we're going in and we keep stealing from people, they're going to get pissed off really, really fast. And they're going to, we're going to go from being a local hero to just some schmuck that keeps rolling through town stealing from everyone. Based on how we're playing, based on the, what we're going to be doing, I am going to go local hero. I think that's going to be giving us the best options. So we are now a local hero, so that'll give us a great little buff. Um, I was very torn. I was thinking about doing... Um, uh, I was thinking of doing first aid uh, one. Or, I'm sorry, first aid three, because that's going to be the top tier of medicine. Henry gets some perks from it, and there's a mission later on that we can really help out with. Megatron Hall finally having a high level. He high level Henry is so satisfying because you earn it every single level that is exactly exactly what i was trying to uh describe right there make a john hall you know very well that that is the uh, the big satisfaction you know last week we I, I think actually john hall you posted a uh quite a a i don't want to say polarizing but an interesting take which is that this game is way better than skyrim and i'll try not to bore you all with a bunch of skyrim talk again this week because i didn't shut up about it at all last week but it kind of is, because it is the real life, or it's a realistic interpretation of a fantasy game like Skyrim. But it's so satisfying because as you've pointed out just there, you earn every level of this. You earn every single thing, and that's why... Fearless Felix, who the hell are you? I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? Riki? You mean Hinnick, the courier's son? Sure. Uh, maybe. Do you know where I might find him? He's not usually around here. Try asking at his home, but I hope you've got a thick skin. Your cure ain't exactly charming. Fair enough. Luckily, I'm... Um, okay, cool. So we talked to one guy. We already found out we got to go talk to Riki's father, who should be in town. What's well, his father can you like? tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. He'll talk to me. So you know this Hinnick. Can you tell me something about him? Not much. I... Why is that? Oops. Uh, so he's called Riki because he's the tanner. Tanners tan their hides with urine. The ammonia in that breaks down the fibers, and uh, and I don't know all the science behind it, but basically, if you're a tanner or if you were a tanner uh, back in the day, you smell a lot like piss and ammonia, so. Why do they call Hinek Riki anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough. Well, Hennig's nature is no sweeter than his smell. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and end this. I think we'll be all right there. I am going to, real quick... I'm going to head over here. I'm going to get a little bath and and, and just kind of freshen up a little bit. Henry Henry needs a little God freshen up. <laughs> John Hall, I'll die on that hill every day, all day, every day. And that is the... Uh, I'd like to make use of the KCD is better than Skyrim, uh -huh. which I'm not arguing. It, I'm not arguing it by any means. It is certainly as you wish. I think, like I keep saying, more satisfying right. than Skyrim, and Here you get is. a lot more fulfillment out I'm of it. I'm sure you'll be extremely but satisfied. I can't also throw a bandit off the top of a mountain using only my voice. So, you know, ebbs and flow, or you know, pros and cons, of course, but they are both incredible. All right, now I've got half of my uh, I'd like my to, uh, order. So, what are you interested? Half of my uh, haircut perk still going, but I like to keep it fresh. Pretty much every day. I'm gonna go ahead and. I'd like to make you. So what? You gotta get a shave every day. You gotta you gotta keep it clean. I'd like that. that... Fine. Oh, so Fifteen. Okay. All right. And once I get level eight in speech, I'm gonna show you the best, my favorite perk uh, that is really not important per se, but uh, it is my personal favorite. All right. Now, I just want to. Since I'm going to be talking to a lot of people, in my opinion, it's very nice to, uh, you know, be a little less intimidating. And although it's behind my camera, I wish I could. Here, I'll show you real quick. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to move my, move my face for a second here. There we go. I'll go down here. Okay, so you can now see. You can now see uh, down here in the bottom right corner all of these skills and uh, and and perks and all that stuff. So uh, my charisma is currently level fifteen, and you can notice as I as I take off some of my nicer stuff. 
uh, that it drops. So right now, like the Lords of Light Gauntlets, that gives me a plus one to my charisma. So if I keep those on, people are going to like talking to me more. It's more impressive. They're they're you know blown away by such uh, by such classy gear, and this isn't a bad look. Looking pretty good. Uh, but it looked like I actually, even my chassis gave me a little bump. Yeah, that gives me a 15. So people like that. Basically, when you're dressed like this, you're you're very close to being a knight. And people will actually refer to you as one. And so uh, and so keeping stuff on uh, just for the perks sometimes can be well worth it. But I was thinking I was going to I was gonna change, change it to a more town-like outfit. But people don't seem to mind. So yeah, we're going to keep all of our stuff on. All right, we're cleaned up. We're looking good. Let's go chat up uh, the old Tanner. Yeah. Uh, if it's not clear, by the way, so basically what we're doing is we're trying to track down the bandit groups that attacked Neuhoff because I believe that they're being led by Runt, the guy who took our sword uh, at the beginning of the game. And so this whole thing, although there are political implications, Henry is purely on the road to revenge. And that is what we're trying to do here. So uh, town by town, we're trying to get closer and closer to them, and we're starting to get a little inkling of a hint. Good day to you. What do you need? I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't so you then you know something. Where he usually goes. It's important. He next shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick, and Harry? Uh, because I'm an envoy of Sir Radzig. Watch your tongue, peasant. I'm an envoy of Sir Radzig Kabila, and this is an official investigation. Stop trying to put me off and tell me where your son is right now. I apologize if I offended you, young man. But still, I don't know where Heenek is. He turned up at the house a while back, but then he vanished again in a hurry. Then you don't know where he went? Uh, what? <sighs> what? Look, it's been clear to me for a long time that my boy was headed for the gallows. But I'm still his father, right? And you can't expect me to rat on my own son. That's true. If you value your son's life at all, you better pray I find him. Because I'm not the only one looking for him. That's no surprise. But what of it? If you're here on behalf of Sir Radzik, there's nothing waiting for Hinnick but the gibbet. Gibbets and crows. Uh, well? Hmm. He's in no danger. I doubt that. Ah, uh, maybe there's a way out. It doesn't have to be that way. If Hinnick cooperates, he can save his neck. It's true. I can't say you put my mind at ease. But to hell with it. I'll tell you what I know. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Heenek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on. But it's better than nothing. All right. So, I think I've learned all I'm going to learn. Now, I'd let's like go. to talk to you about your... I'm very busy. Or his Do friends. Do you at least know any friends he's with? Or... As far as I know, nobody here in the village talks to him. No one at all? No. No one. Tanning and currying stink, you know. He has nobody but me. And you can see how he treats his old man, the ingrate. This, this reeky guy kind of sucks. Uh, all right. Go. And if he's really in as much shit as you say. No, what you barking at? Now. Let's see. This is a nice hey, little place. I was just talking to you, buddy. What's it for me? All right. I feel like I should. I feel like he's got more to say. I just have to check one more thing. So I feel like I'm missing hey. something here. Don't you have any clue at all? Oh, where it's sweet! Be? All right, great. I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there, is all, because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? 
No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. That makes sense. I'll ask at the end. All right, cool. Uh, I need to know more. You know? Nothing. I swear to God Almighty. I'm... I know he didn't talk to you about it, but you must have noticed something, right? How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Any... Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. All so right. he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? Go. And if he's really in as much... All right, so we got another slight lead. It says to go talk to the innkeeper. Uh, because he's apparently been probably buying poached meat. And also, oh, and also I want to show you this. So this is my favorite. So in speech, you can go down to here. Now we could choose highborn, lowborn, empathetic, silver tongue, but this one, because it's going to save me just so much money and hassle, you choose Troubadour. And here, let me show you. What that does, you have a 50% higher reputation when you talk to women and a plus one speech bonus. You can persuade them more easily. That Okay, that okay. the first part sounds a little shady, uh, granted. But you can avail the bath wench's services for free. Free haircuts, free cleanup. And what that really means, if you've been noticing, I always choose the um, uh, the third option, which is, you know, a, a heal my injuries, feed me, and, and, and clean me up. And so now I can be full, rested, and and cleaned up for free plus charisma bonuses to women and it's just it's it's a great perk this guy vetsick also we're gonna we're gonna do a round or two of chumps later on tonight uh probably and it's a really fun way to up your archery skill in a really challenging game but before we get to that point it's gonna swap that on it there we are sorry A bartender. I hope I can be of help to you, knight. Yeah, so he thinks I'm a knight because I'm wearing all this nice stuff. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinnock. And ask someone else. They've nothing to do with Riki. It only drives my customers away. <laughs> <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinnock's. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard... Tell him he still owes me some goods. You mean poached goods? And it goes you something. About the goods Ricky owes you. What about it? Well, supposing I settle the account for him and you stop dodging my. I suppose that would be all right. No. How much is it? Before he vanished, I paid him in advance for five hairs. Not many. Then you're about as much used to it. Okay, fine. Then I'll just go back to threatening you, if I can. Uh, okay, I can threaten him. Oh, actually, first thing first. Sorry, I'm going to go ahead and move myself back. Yep. There we go. Uh, buying from poachers is a crime. I don't give a damn what... What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching lair. Believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him, and it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. I love Henry's all right, all right. Give all me right, a word of honor. You won't tell anyone about our deal. Yeah, you're Come good. Word. Bye. So, what do you want to know? Uh, I hear he has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. Okay, great. Another lead. Not. Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the gang skinned and gutted, so he had to have a light for that. Uh, where is there a mine shaft? any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village. And I heard there's one shaft in the headland close to the water. Thank you. All You're right. welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. 
It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Sweet. So we've got a, another lead. Um, find the shaft on the promontory. Find the cave in the hills by the Ledechko. Okay, so if we zoom out now, you can see A, B, C, D, and find the cave in the... So I think this is probably a general area. I don't remember which one, so we're gonna... I think let's start with... Let's start with C. Yeah, we'll start with C. And see how that goes. I'm so sorry. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Still working on the horse. Still working on the horse controls. If I'm being honest. Yeah. As far as I can see, C is the only option. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Once again, this is one of those moments that you can easily run into people that you don't want to run into. So you got to be a little, a little more careful than I'm being if you are uh, you feeling like you want to take it a little easy. And yeah, I always I struggle quite a bit with the horse combat, so I, I often dismount beforehand and get a little bit closer. Oh, I think I'm very close. Yes, very close. Just in case. Oh, look at this sweet new sword. <laughs> what a beaut. All right, so I found a cave at least uh, with a whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing. All right, bummer. Hmm. All right, well. Next up, let's try... Well, first of all, let's see what this is. So these little smokestacks typically indicate a camp, I think. Uh, or at least something... Uh, or at least something a little more interesting. Let's, let's go ahead up there. Let's see what we can find. Uh, fighting for horseback is a trap, says John Hall. Yes, absolutely. I, I mean, I got that one guy earlier, but he was already running away. I never got it to work. I will say there's... I do wonder if... Um, oh, funny. Oh, that's where I was. I do feel like some of these things are a little easier on console. Just the way that you have to control the horse on keyboard right now is just it's just a little awkward. Alright, I'm going the wrong way, but I do kind of want to just this is the thing is you got to be real careful because all of a sudden the land just slopes and can kill you. What is that? Hmm, must be a mill. Very cool. Yeah. All right. So I think now we head towards D. I think will be our, our best bet. Interesting sight. All right. Well, I don't see. I don't see anything interesting about it. But what's cool is you can sleep and save here, so that's always good if you're, uh, if you have that perk. Oh, what is it? Uh, wanderer. I think if you have the wanderer perk, sleeping in a bed like that will actually give you a much better um, comfort boost than 
sleeping in a nice bed. So that's a good example of that. And sometimes you're in the middle of the woods and you're lost and you find a comfy space, comfy, comfy space to sleep. Yeah. Just take advantage, you know. Yeah. Oh god. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah. How beautiful is that? So let's see. So we just went to this one. That didn't have it. That's okay. Uh, B is a bit of a hike, isn't it? And there's D. So what do you think, chat? A or D? Hey, Mike, this game would be perfect 10 for me if it had more forgiving save system. You know, I get that. I think my best advice for you, uh, and trust me, I completely, I totally know where you're coming from on that. Uh, but yeah, Mike, I would say really lean into alchemy and once you start crafting savior schnapps left and right and you have too many where you're actually selling them the save goes completely out the window you don't even have to worry about it anymore but i do i i, I do understand where you're coming from but yeah. but if that's the only thing holding you back i'd say that's or that, that, that's still a ringing endorsement for this game come on put the sword away thank you yeah Always go for D. Oh, is D the one? Okay, cool. Uh, but by the way, Mike, welcome in. Uh, I Although uh, we've got a couple of Mikes as members on this, I don't believe I've seen Mike that way. So if you're not already, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you around. I believe if we get one more subscriber tonight, unless it's already happened, uh, which I don't think it has, but we're going to get to 250 the first time ever in the history of the channel we'll be at 250 yeah. real ones strong how phenomenal is that yeah. halfway to the goal uh that ideally we can reach by the third three year anniversary of this channel we've got some got some time before that happens still but if we can get to halfway of that goal i'd be very very excited so yeah. if you haven't already please feel free to subscribe we do this every monday an open world post-apocalyptic yeah. or survival game and we are deep into Kingdom Come. We're going to continue this for at least until the mid-season finale yeah. uh, in this game. And uh, and we'll see how it goes from there. Uh... <laughs> I, I was like, somebody has yeah. to take the joke. And thank you, Joel, for doing that. That's what my wife always says, John. And there we go. Klutzy 011, uh, which we should be getting that alert pretty quick here. And did that do it? I got to check. I got to check. 250 real ones strong. It happened. Thank you so very much. That is incredible. Holy crap. Halfway to the big goal, but the still the biggest yeah. moment of subscriber history yeah. um, in, in terms of numbers. How cool is that? Thank you so much for being my 250th. Please feel free to stick around. Uh, it's a lot of fun around here. We have a good time. And like I said, this is kind of our jam. Open world, survival, post-apocalyptic. We, we, we like to see a variety of things. Uh, nice. Yeah, Mike, early game is the hard part. Subscribing now. Thank you so very much. Uh, D is bad news. Beware. Oh, no. Well, I didn't get any bad news there. I just found a mushroom. Uh, seeing some hearts popping in the chat as well. I pheno that's phenomenal. Uh, Miss Marin doing my job for me. Anyone in the chat who is, hasn't yet subscribed, we are only one away from 250. Oh, nice. I know you want to claim that spot. Absolutely. Well, that is so flattering. And thank you so much for doing it. And for tapping that like button as well. Incredible. Uh, super, super cool. <laughs> John celebrating that his setup worked. Yeah. Uh, okay, I believe... Okay, I believe this yeah. looks pretty much... Right. Yeah, this is definitely where we need to be. All right, so a quick... Since we didn't earlier, though, I will save now because we've done quite a bit and I would hate to lose any progress. Hello? Jesus Christ, what am I to do? Not that I can expect any use from advice from you. At least, you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me, I, I can explain. Echoes a bit much. I won't tell anyone. Hey Sabrina, anyone. welcome in. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. 
I'm kind of planning to You're not one of Runt's men? No. Huh. Then who are you? And after this commercial break, I'm here at the behest of Sir Radzig Kabila. Uh, we have an enemy in common. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so, so this guy... We have an enemy in common. He's clearly scared. He wants to live. He's shady, but he's not... He's like a low-level criminal. So I wonder... Hmm. Um, real quick, Mike, I saw that question, and I promise you I'm going to answer it in great detail. I'm going to come right back to that. But in the meantime, I think they're coming for you. I came to warn you. They're coming for you. That's so. Good job. I'm hiding out here, then. They oh, killed really? your friend, Lubosh. Nailed him to the door of his own house. Ah, why do you think I'm in hiding? If you don't want to end up like him, you better tell me what you know. True. And how will that help me? If they come to it won't, but it'll end, help they won't me. be bothering you anymore, will they? And if you help me, I guarantee they will come to a bad end. One way or another. See, Henry's getting Fine. that revenge. What do you want to know? That Neuhoff raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there, mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realized what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, there it is. even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses through. Thanks, Jesus, Clutzy. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking, I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. All right, so there were two different gangs at the Neuhof raid. This guy, he didn't want to kill the horses. Runt is an idiot, so of course he did. Uh, by the way, welcome in Evan Thompson. Oh my God, 250, yay! Yes, I 100% have to agree with that. It is phenomenal. I'm so happy to have reached that tonight. Uh, you really did make my night real ones. That's the best. You just That's that's phenomenal. 250, congrats, says John DeCano. And uh, so basically, let's discuss Runt's gang. Uh, did you know any of Runt's people? Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt. Where are they? I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid. On the way to Neuf, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. And... Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. <laughs> But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. All right, cool. Uh, no half raid. Describe the raid in detail. Uh, I just Tell me want... exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we of course, could find. Of course, Ricky and Limpy went and had a sniff. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smell. Sir Hanish's mm. groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat, and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart. And it wasn't? No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at Smill, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Run turns to us and hisses. Take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him, with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go. All right. Frankly, I'm tired of hearing you talk. Who got your two gangs together? Pius. He... Well, that was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Pious. 
He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us, plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. Nice. You got more sense out of a fence post. Hey, Limp. Crystal B, I subscribed now too. Congrats on 250. Thank you so much, Crystal. Thank you so much for being here as well. I sincerely do appreciate you. That's awesome. Uh, where are Timmy where and Pius? Where did your gang end up? You saw Limpy. Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. All right, so we've now got another lead. Hell yeah. You're coming with me. Sir Radzik and Sir Hanish will want to hear what you've got to say. Why should I? Shit, didn't mean to... I didn't do nothing all that bad. And I told you everything I know. You can tell them yourself. And leave me here. And in a few weeks, I'll pack up and clear off. Uh, let's see. So what do you think, friend? So he did tell us everything. He did cooperate. And... And based on his storytelling of the raid, he didn't really do anything too bad. They kind of slapped around Smill a little bit, but they didn't kill anyone. They didn't kill any horses. Do we take him to Rete? Do we kill him here and now? Or do we just let him disappear? Kind of follow along with his plan. What do you think, friends and real ones? Uh, but Crystal B, thank you so much for subscribing as well. That is phenomenal. I'm so flattered to have you, have you be doing that here for me. Uh, Mike, a thousand hours in PG3 and still going. Safe to say... I like it a lot. Growing up with BG1 and 2 didn't hurt either. While I'm waiting on what you think I should do, spare him, kill him, or turn him into the authorities, we did a full playthrough of Baldur's Gate, and it was absolutely phenomenal. I, I love that game. Uh, it's it was my it, it's my game it was my game of the year before they won it, which was an easy choice because they were obviously going to win game of the year and they deserved it. Um, absolutely phenomenal playthrough. It was uh, me, Von Fink, DJ Clayton, and Miss Marin uh, as Porcini the Rogue, Gor uh, Gorik the Paladin. Uh, Miss Marin was our sorcerer, and I was the uh, the barbarian turned fighter. And it was so much fun. We had an absolute blast. I do regret that I kind of. Uh, burn myself out on it. I was playing it and then also um, streaming it and it was just like, and I was playing three different campaigns and streaming a different one entirely and it was, just, I just burned out and so I kind of rushed through the end which I do regret. I wish I would have taken more time to enjoy it but in that said, I'm very excited to jump jump back into it at some point. I'm going to do another playthrough and um, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, definitely feel free to watch that whole uh, playlist if you like, see what we did, uh, what we explored and and where you would correct uh, or made a different choice. I think that'd be really interesting to hear. Uh, but it looks like most people are saying, <laughs> if you ever see him again, then no mercy. Okay, I, okay. I like that a lot. Joel Benton, John and Miss Marin are all agreeing, be nice. But I think Joel wins with, if you ever see him again, See, <laughs> make it on all. All crimes are equal in the eyes of the Lord. Jesus Christ be praised, like a proper Christian. All right, it'd be best if you vanished. It might be best if you disappeared. You're no use to me anymore, anyway. Thank you. Yes, Ritz. Thank you so much. I'll remember this till the day I die. Best just try living honestly. Yeah, I'll for do real. my best. No, you'll do it. All right, Ricky. Go treat your... Oh, I should have told him to treat his dad better. All right. Now, admittedly, I'm kind of bummed because uh, with different dialogue choices, the group that's hunting him will show up at this cave and then you can fight him. Uh, but the odds of him dying, Spiritus Sante, yes. The odds of him dying are much higher, of course. But, you know... I feel good about that. I feel good about it. Live a good life, Riki. Okay, so we've got another lead. Joel Benton is a barbarian. <laughs> 100%. 100%. And that's... Actually, no, uh, Joel is a... Uh, is typically, I believe he likes to play as a monk, if I remember right. <laughs> okay, so we've got a new lead. This tiny little spot. Inquire after Timmy at the windmill. So... Uh, what what Ricky was telling us is he is a part of a uh, there were two gangs that were at the Neuhof raid uh, Runt's group, which were the the bad guys that were killing everything and then Ricky's group which were just there for money and for some good loot uh, Unfortunately the weaker of the two did not win that battle. They fled and um, 
and the the group or the, that gang was Limpy, Riki, Timmy, and Pius. Uh, Pius, we don't know where he is, and uh, Timmy, that's our next lead. Uh, so this is going to be our next destination right on up here. So I am also curious on how long we have until the uh, how long we have until the um, the tournament. So I think let's go ahead and hustle on up to here. We're going to go get Timmy. We're going to go try to find him. Hopefully he's there. Yeah. But then I think we'll head south and we'll uh, chat up Wozniak because we've got a little Thieves Guild quest to turn in. And then we'll go ahead and take Teresa out on a nice, lovely date. What do you say, friends? I think that sounds pretty good. Bard all the way. Joel Ben with a bard choice. Okay, I did not see that coming. Um, but yeah, um, uh, uh, Mike, what's your favorite class of D&D &D character? Yeah. What do you think of 5e? And what's your what's your favorite part about Baldur's Gate? What are you doing? Uh, tired of uh, shit. Uh, You'll get one more. Uh, 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 Keep up. Hey, come on. Come on. This isn't supposed to be going this way. See, these dogs, they're so annoying. Like, they, they distract in combat, and the whole time you just sit there taking damage. They drain your stamina. Oh, so frustrating. So I might actually get smoked here. No, I'm not going to get smoked. I'm going to win this. Come on. You pull that up. You're done, kid. You're done. Ah, shut up. Oh, dear God. All right. That worked out well. Uh, Bard is probably the best class in 5e and in BG3. Interesting, especially with some items in the game that allow you to crowd control everything. My favorite has always been Sorcerer. Ah, very good. Excellent choices. Uh, yes, let's spoil our woman, says Miss Marin. Absolutely, that's the plan. Uh, so let's see. This guy's got, got 46 bucks. I'll take that. And that's about it. Thanks for nothing. Oh, I need to I need to get my bandages on, though. Boom, boom, boom. Couple bandages. Beautiful. And then while we're here, go ahead and make sure we're keeping our gear nice and tight. Beautiful. All right. And I think we leveled up something else too, didn't we? Horsemanship, nice. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, come on. I'm gonna do strong, come on, fingers. Do strong thighs, so that means I can't be unhorsed very easily. So if like enemies are surrounding me trying to pull me off my horse, they'll have a much harder time getting me down. All right, so I kind of just charged into this camp. I, 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 I was just feeling bloodthirsty, I think. I just, I just wanted to fight. Uh, and they certainly took it to me, though. All right, interesting sight. What's here? What's this? Arrows, boar hide. I'll take the boar hide. Start digging. Start digging. What's here? Love, I love hidden dig spots. All right, we got that. What are we finding? What are we finding? <laughs> My only D and D player through is an elf sorcerer, and I adore her. Says Miss Marin. Yep, yeah, uh, Harmony was. Uh, I'm sorry, Melody was incredible. All right, so we found nothing crazy great, but also just some good, good uh, fundable stuff. So that'll definitely make us some groschen. Uh, these are just furs, and the rest is pretty much trash. Uh, yeah, you really got to keep your eyes peeled on the ground, because uh, it's a really subtle dig prompt, uh, but you can almost always find really good stuff. And morbid as it is, I always loot graves. If you've come across a grave, dig it up. 
Let's see. Ooh, this is going to be close. So this is me five. I'm going to wait one second. I'm going to wait a little bit before I uh, before I drink that potion, just so I don't accidentally yeah. overfill myself. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mike. We've sp we've we've talked a lot of positive stuff. What's your least favorite part? Actually, you know, to the chat themselves. Yeah. What's your least favorite part of D and D? Yeah. Yeah. Or what is uh, what's something you've experienced in your D and D, uh, or if, you, if you've played in real life? What do you find is off-putting? Or that you struggled with. All right, now 94, perfect. Okay, I wanted to wait, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this, Blop. and I should start to heal up a little bit. Yeah. Here we go. I like that even in this place, I still have the Savage perk. That's awesome. All right, now just as my Marigold is finishing up, I'm gonna take a quick little reprieve. Um, yeah, I, okay. Oh, Min Maxers, sure. Good answer, Joel. <laughs> That's a good one. Let's take a little borscht. All right, Christmas at 50. Let's go ahead and drop all this rotten ass animal meat. Yeah, I try not to min-max. Uh, I think, I don't know, it's one of those things I I like to learn little strategies in, in any game to, of course, make my character stronger and faster and better, blah, 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 blah. But I almost get stressed out when I when I see too many things that are like, hey, do this, do this, do this, do this in the first five minutes of the game, and otherwise you'll, you'll be ruined forever. It's just like, I got enough shit in my real life that stresses me out. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to be playing a game and feel like if I miss a certain thing that it's going to ruin my entire experience. So, yeah, I... Yeah, the whole min-maxing thing I don't really get down with just because I, I I feel overwhelmed sometimes with it. Where's this Timmy character? I'm looking for a Colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. Uh, I, just, I just saw Mega John Hall's comment. I've only got like 500 hours in but i love that game as if yeah only 500 is not saying i can love this thing <laughs> that's great uh so we do have a plus one to chat with the ladies so i'm here in the service of sahanish let's say it nice sahanish jesus christ mm -hmm. it must be serious all right but not him we'll talk around the back behind the mill Oh wow, Mike! Mike saying confidently that min max, or, uh, that just a just a solid party build will get you through honor mode, no problem. I st I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta step my game up, and I gotta play in a harder difficulty. I think that's what I'm gonna do on my next playthrough. I'm gonna do maybe not the hardest difficulty, but honor mode at least, unless honor mode is the no tactician is is tactician the hardest, or is it honor mode? I can't I can't remember. No, no. Whenever you're ready, take your time. Just trying to solve a murder over here. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no-good friends. Mm. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things. But I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. 
He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed. Merhoyed. Well, well, well. There's a bit of three guys, four guys wanting to die. feeling you're looking for someone here i'm looking for someone too nope maybe we could help each other <coughs> oof uh i doubt it i don't think so no what because you know what i don't like your face because i don't much like the look of you you or your cronies and i don't like you breathing on me I don't like the way you stink, so fuck off. Well, well. Bold words for a whippersnapper. I love Henry. Gotta Come love this on, kid. <laughs> see what you're made of. All right, let's do this. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm gonna enjoy this. No! Come here, Billy Liver. All right, well, this didn't go very well off the off the top. Alright, so four on one is a little tricky, I will admit. But I'm just trying to keep that. Just trying to keep the archer between everyone. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. And I think I might be biting it right about here. Oh, nice. Alright, alright, we got this. We got this. Come on. Come on. Ooh, fancy move there, Buster. That's pretty good. Come on. Come on, then, awesome. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Come on. Nice, nice. Knocked him down. Boom. That's it. Come on. Right here. How about this? And a bit of this. Now, oh, where's that archer? I'm coming for you, boy. Hello, George Benton. Based on the name, you must be the father to the very incredible Joel Benton. And if not, you should pretend to be, because he's awesome. Uh, did the archer run away? What a coward. But welcome in, my friend. It's great to have you here. Um, you tell him, Henry. Absolutely. I love that. Uh... Are you? Oh, you're a villager. Okay, cool. I can't believe that other guy just ran away. What a coward. Um, working on... <laughs> John Hall, I'm working on a tactician currently. My first attempt, I realized being a dark urge murder hobo was not the way to go. Totally fair. Absolutely. Yeah, welcome in, George. Great to have you. If you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. But welcome in, nonetheless. We are in the middle of... Baldur, uh, Baldur's Gate. Now my head's somewhere else. Kingdom Come Deliverance, an exceptional... Uh, 15th century simulation of a refugee's life. Wow, that was, uh, that was tricky. They, they did, they kind of, they brought it for me, that's for sure. They certainly brought it, and I was very lucky that I reposted and took out the leader in that, in that hit, because he was doing some damage. All right, Black Hood. I will take that Black Hood, actually. Cool. All right, now that that's done. Maybe we go chat up that young lady once again. Where'd she go? It always cracks me up Oop. if somebody sees you doing crime out here and how they'll run for 30 miles just to go tell a guard on you. It's really pretty funny. 
Alright, I'm trespassing. That's fine. Put them in there. Oh, yes. And if you are not familiar, if anybody is new here and wants to represent the channel and help support me along the way, you'll just see a uh, notification in the chat from the stream element spot. There is a phenomenal, in my opinion, merch um, merch site available. If you want to go rep some real grog uh, hoodies and T-shirts, crop tops. we got some sweet mugs. Blau, one of my favorites. Love that one. Got the real grog mug. Hats. Lots of cool stuff. Feel free to check it out. Links in the bio of this video. All right, so we got another lead, just lead after lead after lead, and just a bit more to the uh, to the east. Or I'm sorry, to the west here. We're gonna go find find Timmy. We're gonna go take care of that because I think we'll be able to. Uh, it'll all kind of lead us the right right way, right way. All right, be careful. Don't don't gallop down a hill uh, blindly. That's that's real grog's real advice for the yeah. day. Don't gallop blindly in terrain you're unfamiliar with. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, by the way. Just to feel the flowers. Love it. Yeah. Like, it's moments like this. This beautiful farmland. My blood splattered. <laughs> I just, I can see that you can all notice there's a bit of a red haze in the top left and right corner. Henry's in mad pain right now. Yeah. Oh, Trying to get around this bush here. Yeah. All right. So this Timmy guy is apparently strong and very dumb. So yeah. it shouldn't be too hard to convince him of helping us. Hopefully. Come on. Come on, horse. All right. You had your chance. Villager, I need Timmy. Hey, you. Hey, Timmy. How are you today? <laughs> and we're so right. nice. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, shit. What do you want? It, it wasn't me. I, I didn't... I mean... Shit. So, about that massacre. What, what are you talking about? You weren't there. I, I mean, I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Limpy Lubosh and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your mate Hinnock told me about a whole camp full of those horse hunts. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. Mm. You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Uh... Do, do I look like a cutthroat to you? Do I look like someone who goes around hunting down halfwits for pleasure? No, I reckon not. But I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only I was pretty drunk. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. A, a church! There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Hmm. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Talmberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns. If you go further on past the woodcutters, 
you come across this abandoned house. Uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow path, and you go straight along there. Sometimes this guy remembers a lot more than you think. You like... just keep to the left. <laughs> you keep straight on there. After a while, you'll see a bridge. And it's right there. Better than nothing, I suppose. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promised. Oh, no, bugger. I meant to make you promise. Oh, Timmy. I forgot. I won't tell. No, don't worry. But in future, find some other way to make money. Like honest work? Thanks. I'll, I'll try. On account of my sister, at least. That girl at the windmill? Aye, Mirka. She told me you're as thick as a fence post and always getting dragged <laughs> into some mischief. Did she? Off with yeah. Timmy's head. Oh, God. She's probably right. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's a cold-blooded answer. All right, so that is phenomenal. Our leads have led us to Mechariad, which is another horse stable town, which is why uh, we want to make sure that we're covering it because it's potential that uh, these bandits are focusing on stables. But luckily, I don't know how it works out so nicely, but Sir Razik has set up camp right by Mechariad, and so we're going to ride north, report to him, and then, dear friends and real ones, I think we're going to move on we're going to go get cleaned up, maybe get a new outfit slightly, or like some new pieces. And we're going to take our little Teresa out for a date, what do you say? Ooh, and we should bring her a gift too. Yeah. I know Miss Marin was re recommending jewelry, so yeah. perhaps... Hmm, let's see if I can find something on the way. Yeah. Yeah. And then hopefully, timing-wise, hopefully we'll end up at the tournament. So my, my plan is hopefully we can get on a date with Teresa, go to the tourney, win another round, and then we'll probably uh, shut her down after that because we're going to be at a really good part in the story uh, to wait till Monday. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Good to see you, lad. You too. Sir Hanush told me you won his tourney. Oh, well. Good job, Henry. <laughs> News travels fast, I imagine. Uh, <laughs> been, to, been to Ushitz and the parish priest there is odd. Yeah. Sir, I've been to Ujits, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye. An Get her drunk. Fellow. He's I'm a gentleman and she is a lady, Mr. Today. Decano. <laughs> he was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary yeah, maybe. with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. Why choose Mehoyed? It's somewhat at the center of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? Fair point. True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Exactly. It's not about the silver. But what? Creating fear. Alright, I got news. Uh, I'll just share about the encampment. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I know right where it is. I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. It's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Townburg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I'll Certainly, try. Sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You got it. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. Good luck, then. All right, so. Uh, so this part of the story, this quest, Nest of Vipers, 
it really kicks off something um th that's kind of stage one of the mid-season finale so we're gonna save that for monday uh because that's gonna be a big to do and it's gonna be a lot of fun but i've got a certain way that i go about it to make sure that we can get the most out of that experience uh but it is not easy far from it in fact look at all these awesome soldiers just hanging out sleeping on hay love it All right, but in the meantime, no, nope, not that button. So we're a little low on health. Let's see how we're doing on nourishment. We are just hungry enough. Sweet. All right, so that'll start healing us. So we're gonna fast travel. Uh, I don't really feel like exploring right now. So yeah, so this right here, it'll lead us higher up into this part of the map. We're gonna take care of that a little later, uh, probably on Monday. So I think let's fast travel down to Ladechko. Yeah, we'll fast travel to Ladechko, rest up, clean ourselves up a little bit. Uh, and then we're gonna hit, oh no. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we'll head into Rete proper. Uh, I think we're gonna, you know, maybe check out some new threads. Come on. I think it did this last time too, and it better not, it better not be freezing on me. But as we're waiting, friends and real ones, thank you once again for being here. I sincerely do appreciate you. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you're uh, having a great night. Hopefully it's all going well. Dinner's hopefully cooking for you, and you got something fresh and tasty on the way. Uh, I don't know what is happening here. Let's go ahead and give a little refresh, see if that helps. It did not help. Oh, it did help. All right, nailed it. Just like I planned. All as usual. How are we doing on money anyway? How are we doing over here? We've got 1.4, and we got a we got a little bit of stuff to sell. So you know what? Let's just go to sleep. Fresh and tasty. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and get some sleep. Heal up these wounds. And with any luck, it'll also be a tournament, uh, a tournament awareness day. Come on, I'm hoping so. That'll just be perfect. Boop. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess one more day. One more day. Just call me crazy, but I feel like I can't. I don't think I know how to tell what day it is in this. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Hmm. Um, oh, actually, you know what we're gonna do first? No, 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 no. No, well. Yeah, we'll come back. We'll come back. I was gonna show off the, ah, uh, oh, you know what, let's, he's down there. Yeah, yeah we're, gonna, we're gonna show off the game Chumps while we're here. Yeah. Um, because I probably won't do great on it, but it'll be a good time to show you while we're here. And, uh, and if we miss the date with Teresa, we can always do it tomorrow. That'll give us more time to get all cleaned up anyway. Are you an archer? What's with the targets? I notice you're asking questions. Are you the Inquisition by any chance? No, I'm Henry of Scalis. <laughs> from Scalis? I'm Vata, from here. Why are you so curious about the targets? It's just that I sometimes try my hand at archery too. Try your hand, do you? <laughs> I know plenty who do. When you can score as high as me at chumps, then I might be impressed. This guy's such I've a got douche. no idea what you're talking about. Never played chumps? And you call yourself an archer? Chumps is a game for real archers. So what exactly is it? I'll tell you. At the end of the course, someone collects all the logs and counts the strikes. Whoever has the most, always meaning me, each archer has 20 arrows with their own colored fletching, and the contest ends when the last log floats through the finish line. Sounds like good fun. Fun? My friend, it will bring you out in a proper sweat. All right, let's do it. I do. Come on, then. Ah, now you have to bet at least 10 groschen. So how much will you bet? Well, go big or go home. No half measures. 
What's there to say for anyway? New clothes for Teresa. Over with. Very well. All right. So chumps is awesome. Equip your bow. Now, don't shoot everything right away. Or like, there's, there's, in my opinion, better time to shoot. But so the point is, all three archers will shoot into these logs, and uh, easy. We'll shoot into the logs at the end. How many you've hit? That of course allocates you points. Now, I like, especially early, early in the game. Uh, shame I can't swim. It's kind of tough, but basically. Yeah, whenever, whenever you can shoot and pretty much have a log behind you to make the biggest target possible, that's going to be your best bet. Now, I'm still pretty... I'm a little little rusty, admittedly. Nice. Alright, off to a good start. Decent start. But yeah, there's... You can, you can kind of see... Uh, there's sometimes the logs get a little bit closer. You don't have to shoot at every stop. Sometimes I like to run into people just to try, try to throw them off. But so, like, if I shoot right now, that's a nice, that's a fair distance on the shot. But if I get to here, I think those come a little bit closer. Um, but always be careful because you can't accidentally shoot your competitor in the head or in and uh, and they get a little pissed off about that. You can see those three logs are kind of stacked up, so it gives me a bigger chance to to overshoot and still and still hit. But this is a great way to up your agility and your archery skill, uh, and also make a little bit of dough. Ah, come on! All right, so I'm actually going to stop shooting right here. Oh, here's a good spot. That was a close one. That was about as low as I could have gotten without blowing it. Now I got five more. And really, you can empty out your quiver as soon as you want. There's no... Um, not too high. You can see, so those tents right down there, that's the finish line. Just want to sink this last one, and I should be unbeatable, because it's rare that they knock off that many points. Boom! All right. 15 out of 20. I'll take that. That's not too bad. Hit home. Another on target. Nice, and once that last log crossed the finish line, then we win. One last arrow, and that's it. All right, no matter what, I won. Damn, missed. So, how did it go? Well done, Henry. You've come first. It looks like you really do know what you're doing with a bow. All right, so I'll literally uh, do that just on repeat for days uh, if I'm trying to level up my skill. I just want to make some money. Or just have some fun, you know. Uh, but that's one of those uh, that 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 uh, that little game is is there indefinitely, so you can come back and play it whenever you want. All right. Now I was thinking of swinging over to here. Yeah, let's just take care of it. It's always one of those. This is one of those tasks that's always just like, uh, I gotta go take care of this thing. So let's yeah. just let's just go make it happen. to get an even faster horse, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so... Whatever. I'm gonna make it a lot easier on myself. <laughs> and if we want to, we can just ride up there after this. This is tough. Okay, so I think it's... Okay, so it's an hour before noon. 
I gotta get something nice on. Let's see if I have a gift. Let's go. Let's go blue for this. Fashionable blue, fashionable slippers. Uh, maybe a gray scarf will look nice. Um, some leather gloves. Ooh, maybe the brown and blue would actually be good. Um, ooh, this is, gonna, this is not gonna be not gonna be my best outfit so far. Green tunic. Uh, maybe the green. Teresa, just just wait. Oof, so far not so good. Take up the hobrick. Oh, I'll give her a ring. Nice. Uh, well, that shirt is hideous. So maybe we'll do the gambus. Ah, of course the gambus has got to be have red highlights. Um, pick up the van braces. We'll go very patriotic then. Red, white, and blue. Unless, do I have red? Ooh, I do. Okay, this is actually, this could actually be pretty decent. And yes, it is worth it. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. All right, not 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 two shabs. I'll take that. All right, we got one hour. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this to my horse. And I like how it looks. Ah, screw it. And. Boots are looking good. These two things. There we go. Now we're underweight. Perfect. Beautiful. Looking Andy. sharp. Uh, shall we take a walk? Oh, I brought you something. I brought you something. Jewelry. Oh, how? Well, this is this for me? Yes, this must it's have cost you a fortune. Just for you, but my I like little lady. It very much. Thank you. You're very you really welcome. mustn't bring me any more gifts like that, or you'll spoil me. Oh, I'm going to bring you plenty of gifts like that. What now? Should we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Nope. Well, let me think. And where would you care to go? Um, how about... I mean, out of these options. What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's go. Let's go. God. Tavern. Boo. You know, it's, it's it, we're warming up to each other there, John. You know, trust me. That was Get a drunk, idea. then the river. <laughs> Not that I don't like the yeah, it's dangerous. Oh, no. Tired of it, so I'm glad Who's there? Oh, crap. Okay. Now we'll have another bout. Crap. I won't be robbed of my winnings by some you. lousy greenhorn. Okay, so Black Peter has a bit of an issue with me since I beat him. <laughs> and what sucks is I just took off all my armor. I don't like milk, and Teresa's just doing the thing. Oh, I totally forgot about this. The dangerous thing is that Peter is actually... He's got a weapon coated in poison. And so if he hits me once, I will start to... Uh, I'll become poisoned, and it's very difficult to uh, be cured. Oh, shit. Yep, see, there we go. So he got me there. Oh, Jesus. Like, no, Teresa, I got it. Don't worry. All right, now I'm probably going to die. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Teresa's being very nonchalant. Um, yeah, never never thought this could happen. Black Peter on your date. Yeah, that, uh, so that kind of sucks. So... Hmm. 
Ah, the real bummer here is that it's saved right here. But I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, we're going to throw everything back on. And I think I just need the... Uh, where am I? Ah, screw the shield. Where are my... Ah, there we are. I'm already wearing them. Everything's looking good there, looking good there. Alright, party time. Weapons. Or just sword. Alright. Don't be mad, Teresa. I'll be back for you! What's Let's go that? for a walk, then you die in front of her. Yeah, we'll have another bout. I won't be robbed of my winnings by some lousy greenhorn. Damn it, see, and right there, already poisoned. Shit. Alright, this is not good. That was a good idea to go for a walk. Not that I don't like the milk, but I'm just tired. So I'm glad you took me. I'd love to see the markets in the market. <laughs> He's just having a just a lovely little no, conversation. I have, have been in Cuttenberg, but Proud must be <laughs> He's talking better. back. I've heard That's it's pretty steady though. Yeah. So many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> it's disgusting. Come on. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hoos. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah, everyone's talking about it. Yep. Just it's crazy. That's why the women dote on it. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't Dick. need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? <laughs> I know full well just... why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. <laughs> just straight you up. scoundrel. <laughs> well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't oh, make me a bad Christian. I don't think Christian. I have any antidote, so I'm probably still going to die. I but... to suggest such a thing. Oh, and look at my health just drop. Uh, <laughs> not the best way to impress a girl, says George Benton. <laughs> yeah, that's uh. Greetings. Oh hey, uh, any chance you have any uh? I've got any some antidote? Goods. All right. Shit. You can't walk around here with it drawn. Two, one. Uh, all right all right oh this just has worked out so poorly <laughs> let's have a chance dying at the tavern yeah this certainly uh this one that puts me in my place Shit, i don't have any there either uh shit okay so here's what we're gonna do henry's in the t-pose Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be a sneaky sneak. At least I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to pull the forbidden move. <clears throat> Wish me luck. Hey! Hey! Damn it, I missed it. Hand over that purse right now and you might get away in one piece. You wouldn't be the first or the last. You're dead! Come on, give me that head cracker at least. Yeah, I agree. Not yep. that I don't like Bill, but you get tired. No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but mm -hmm. Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. 
So many assholes. <laughs> it's disgusting. I'm just trying to repost love him. To listen to that young preacher, Jan Hoos. They say he preaches in the common ah, tongue. Shit. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah. All right, so I'm screwed again. It's it's literally like if you if you get hit and you don't have antidote on you, you're 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 screwed. Do me a favor, if you don't mind. Somebody Google if you can get antidote from bathhouses in KCD. Oh shit! I'll slay you. Yeah, I, I was. I, I I thought I might actually I accidentally hit Teresa, so I had to make sure I didn't. The casual inserting a sword into the chest while he's dying. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, we're just we're not gonna get out of this one. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna load the Ledechko save. <laughs> I knew that tournament was rigged. So Okay, so we're gonna just get back to here, and then we're gonna head home. Oh, we lost all of our chumps. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. Oh, I'm mad about that. I am mad about that. All right. So I'm actually gonna fast travel, because I'm gonna take some time. We're not gonna go right to the date. We're going to get some new attire. We're going to make it look nice. But I'm um, also... Oh, that's right. So... Oh, come on. Get out of there. Shit. Hey! Hey! Piece of shit! All right. Or we'll just do it now. That purse right. <gasps> Give me a break. All right. So I'll just take care of it now. Bring it on. Shit. Way off. Way off. Damn. Cunt. Once I get a little damage on him, we'll be all right. I hope. There we go. There we go. Little work. There we go. Get him bleeding. Couple of combos. Oh, yeah. Get some. Oof. Somehow got away with that without getting poisoned. I'll have you, Long Shanks. All right, some asshole just hit my dog. Oh, I might hit my dog. Ah, damn it! All right, you're dead. I'm gonna come back for your body. Oh, and I can't even sprint. All right, wish me luck, friends. I just gotta get. To the apothecary. Get on your horse. On the hop. Come on. Yeah. Oh, damn it! The clothesline! No Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of my way. Oh, I don't... I, I wonder if the ladies yeah. can heal me. I don't know if that'll work. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna try it. Uh, go to the apothecary and rate. Yeah. No, please, horse, go slower. Okay, I just gotta try it, because I'm right here. I just have to try it. Come 
Come on, please work. Please work. Jesus. I'd like to make use. And what is it? I'm slowly dying. Could you help me? Uh, I'll... I'm sure. I'm still alive. Oh, it works. <laughs> oh, wow. Hell yeah. Okay. That is awesome. I'm and while I'm here. In your, uh... And what is it? You... Wow. All right. So now we don't have to worry about that guy. I'd like that. All of I'm that was sure free because I'm a troubadour. Oh, what a treat. Uh, thank you, John. Nice. Apothecary and Rete or the Trader and Ledechko. Okay, very cool. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, let's see. Well, now we have been forced into being late for our date. But we do have time to pick out a new outfit. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was that was about as close as that could have been. That was very dangerous. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. I really thought this horse was gonna be faster when I bought it, I'll tell you that much. So we got the blue stuff going on at what home. Do I do need? like that, but I like the green as well. I'm a big fan of the, the green in this. Ooh, actually, first things first. Sorry. You always got to make sure, especially before you do. Oh, wow, that went quick. Uh, before you start buying stuff and asking for repairs, definitely repair your own gear. Sweet. I keep a lot of stuff. I keep a lot of repair kits on my horse as well, so you always want to make sure you're checking that if you need more. Uh, but what I'm thinking is I think we'll go on the date and then I might actually go up to the, uh, to the, um, Herald for the, for the tournament and I'm just going to tell him, hey, let me stay here until, until the tournament starts. And I think we'll do it that way instead of having to just get lucky and wait. Um, I'm gonna go up there and I'm just gonna jump right in and I think that's how we'll round out, round out. Sounds pretty good to me. I'd like to dis- Well, we can- Nice. Alright, cool. All right, now let's see what you got there, buddy. So the black purple. So I do like the compact jupon, but that is expensive. It is pricey. And what I want is I want this little. I want my. I want this spot. I want to find something for that that would go with a good blue. Um, I'm not going to get her any Teresa any of these dyed surcoats because I will just buy her one on my. Oh, actually, yeah, that's what I'm doing with. I go here. Yeah. And the blue I don't like the merchant's hat. That's just that's just not me. But I will do this. And that feels pretty good. Ooh, the chaperone actually would probably be the better bet. But no, I got an idea. I got the I got a plan. I got a plan here. Alright, can I sell you anything? Black hood? Yeah, let's sell that. Composite gauntlets, hell yeah, I'll sell both of those. Uh, the ring, oh, I haven't actually given her the ring yet, so I will I will get her that now. All right, pay 150 bucks. Check the basket, let's go ahead and haggle. And I'm actually gonna let's give a little tip. The Naturally. Naturally. There you go, buddy. Thank a little extra reputation, right? Can't fast travel? What are you talking about? I can't fast travel. I'm right here. 
whatever. Yeah. Let's do it the old-fashioned way, I suppose. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I yeah. Uh, the horse mechanics, I uh, you know, it it leaves a yeah. lot to be desired. I will admit. I'm very, uh, Miss Marin, uh, I think you'll be happy to hear I did capture <laughs> the casual execution yeah. as I'm having a conversation with my date. Uh, so that I'm going to, I'll probably ex yeah. expect a short of that uh, in the next couple of days here. Yeah. Uh, and Joel, I did see that, uh, that George Benton was, I, I imagine, I, I took a shot in the dark and I said, I think that's Joel's dad, and I, I shouted that out a bit earlier. So yeah, thank you for thank you for clarifying though that it was accurate. All right, let's get off the horse. All right, now for the fun part. That feels pretty good. Now let's see what we can do for our boy. And it's not just immersion gameplay. It's it it, it has a purpose to uh to dress a bit better. I've I've covered some of that in previous streams, but you know people just like you more and. It's just good to represent your best side. All right, now what do we think? Blue or gray for the scarf? I think blue. Yeah, blue. Yeah, overall, Henry crushing it. Make sure all this fits together. Boom, boom, beautiful. Blue. Yeah, I agree. You got to tie the tie the pants to the scarf. Hundred percent. Oh dang! I still haven't even read this. Oh, I'll just read it standing up in the middle of a farmhouse. Beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and knock out for the night. <laughs> Going to sleep at 6 p.m. Just so we can take our lady out for a date. That's the sacrifice we make. Wake up! I want to go for a date! Got my fancy shoes on, you know? I'm unstoppable right now. Unstoppable. Alright, I don't think I have any books I can actually read right now, so I will... Right? Yeah, 15. That's done. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wait till 9. Just pathetically sitting here waiting. Just. She up yet? No. She up yet? There she goes. Greetings, Henry. I... Oh, Hal. Is this for me? You really mustn't bring me any more gifts like that. Or yeah, we take well, a walk. Now. Should we take a walk? You don't now, give up, do you? Decano. Well, let me think. I, I would, would bring to her go? to the tavern, but I know that she won't uh, approve of it, so our first one will be. What if we took a stroll along the river? river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> All right. Shouldn't, shouldn't be any murderer. This time around. Come on.
Don't wait up. So I don't know if you noticed though, if you if you're riding through, I mean it, it did happen to me, but if you're riding through, the first time I ever I remember uh, getting clotheslined off my horse, walk, going down this road. Oh man, it was Not crazy. Like mill, Completely threw me off. So I'm glad you took me out. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kutzenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, so many people in one place. So many assholes. That's disgusting. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what Henry's about that fine one. fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. <laughs> you scoundrel. Well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. I'll tell you what. Let's not doddle. Should we let her win? What Last do you think, chat? is a slimy slug. Okay, well, she called us a slimy slug, so... So we're going to win. Game on. Just smoking her. <laughs> Just <laughs> like Henry's taking it way too serious and he is all in. Oh, just a salt, salt in the wound. Stop and pick flowers. I almost had it. <laughs> that was fun. Like, Sit down here next to me, Hal. It used to be so much simpler. Literally just oh. running was a fun time. <laughs> yeah. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few Is that impressive? I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Oh, this endless luxury, money, banquets, games stuffed with other games. <laughs> a chicken stuffed with... stuffed with a frog. Yeah, and that's nothing compared to a frog stuffed with a chicken. <laughs> a goat stuffed... <laughs> <laughs> with a pig? <laughs> Henry's just spitting the riz. Thank you, Miss Marin, for breaking down the, <laughs> the the way that all of this connects. Now then. Oh, Henry, now that my I shirt's dirty. Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. The only one here whose head is all messed up is me. How do you always manage to look so good? Just look at the lady killer. Where did you learn to talk that way? Oh shits, I learned to I read. I don't recall which church service it was exactly. <laughs> you scoundrel, but you certainly know how to make a girl feel special. You may continue, but now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Mm, saucy. All right. Well, there we are. We have successfully Thank you for completed our first date with our lovely Teresa, uh, who is requesting that we uh, come back in a few days and do that all again. So 
we might have to um, we might we might have to take up yeah. John DeCano's advice and uh, perhaps go to the uh, perhaps go to the tavern. Yeah. All right. But for what it's worth for tonight and today, we are yeah. going to head up to the Herald and we're going to get our uh, get yeah. our tournament up and running. Uh, I already placed the bet uh, with uh, with um, Uncle Peshek or Miller Peshek, which if you yeah. are familiar with what I mean by that, between each tournament uh, week. Yeah. Always go to talk to Peshik and he'll because he always says just as you want. Hey, don't you place a wager on the rat attorney? Yeah. And yes, bet the max amount, which is I think a hundred. And as long as you win, you'll get five hundred groschen back in on top of the uh, yeah. reward that you get from uh, Sir Hanish when you win. So as well as the yeah. the prize of a piece of uh, Lipa armor, which is incredible so definitely go place a bet on yourself as long as you're feeling confident that you can do it um yeah. i hope that this is going to save between me doing it and not but we'll see what happens i'm gonna let my horse watch the show god bless you thanks i'd like to enroll in the big tournament you'll have to wait a few days until so all right cool lodgings i'd like to take lodgings here until the next tourney starts certainly 120 whatever you are. God be with you. I bet it was I bet it was literally the next day Yep, it was a day and a half from now god dang it <laughs> If I would have went to sleep one more whatever that's fine Not a big deal. Uh, now let's test something. So first of all Hmm, I think we are pretty low on savior schnapps but gotta do what you gotta do we're saved but yeah so once this guy gets out here we're gonna start up the tourney we're gonna win another round take it home get another piece of armor get some dough the bravest men in the whole province Monday. match their strength and skill. The low people. I'd like to. Of course. All right. And I need to know. Thing. Long. Goodbye. I spent too much money uh, getting into this game. I'll tell you that much. All right. Now, what's awesome is you rent your uh, all your Meeting gear, so you can show up exactly how I, I came in my date outfit, and I'm still in armor and sorted up and everything. So you don't have to worry about that. And he will face Alder Friar. A man at arms from Sir Divish of Townburg's garrison. Let's do this thing. Welcome, our warriors. All is prepared for the first duel. We will witness a duel with, with long swords. How about you? Boy's certainly gotten a lot better with the long sword. Yeah, making short work of that. Who emerges victorious from the first round is Henry of Scalics. All right, short sword this time around. To choose weapons for the next duel, our warriors will fight with hunting swords. Boom. Oh, wow. One repost. Just give it up, buddy. You're done. Wow. That was probably my fastest round ever. That was awesome. Face to face in this round will be 
Henry of Skeletes from the company of Sir Radzig Kobla. He says my name so and his blandly. Will be Is that just me? Caldo I thought... the Tar, catchbowl of the Ratai Bailiff. Let us wish the combatants luck. You're gonna need it. Always prepared for the first duel. Yeah, I know, so we let me fight. A duel with long swords. So this one, when you get when you get good with the clinch, oh hey okay okay, but when you get good with the clinch and you can kind of back him into the corner and. Uh, Get a nice little, nice little boost. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Got that repost on. So I think the key, by the way, if you're struggling to repost yourself, uh, you can't be pressing any other button. You can't be trying to move and repost. You basically have to be stationary or just not moving when the shield goes green. So like right here, I'm going to stop moving as soon as I see this. Boom. There we go. Yeah, so if I'm not moving at all, that's when you'll be able to get that, get the repost really nicely. Uh, uh, yeah. Wanna try, I'm try, ah, dang, okay. What's up? What's up, he says. Man, when you, just to when you totally whiff your first swing, that is so embarrassing. Okay, dickhead. Starting to get, get, on, my, get on my nerves. Man, I just can't get through this guy's defense right now. Son of a bitch, and he's got me bleeding. Damn it. All right, but we've seen how fast these can turn around. Waiting. He's got the wing. He's got the saddest little whimper when he's getting hurt. Oh, come on. When you, you can kind of catch your enemies staggering when they're running out of stamina. This is a really small window. All right, him and I are pretty much even right now. Not for long. Dude is quick. There we go. There we go. Out of baby Henry. Whew, that, was, that was a tough one. <laughs> it's racing. Racing is a game. Game equals fun. That's fair. And now's the time I like that. to choose weapons for the next duel. Oh boy. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. And my axe. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, come on, that was 
Clearly. All right, whatever. Uh, the game is glitching like crazy for some reason. I'll so out of nowhere. Fuck it. Unless I'm mistaken, I don't think there's a way to actually choose your your counter, your counter attack. And I really wish there were. Oh, but there we go! Now a baby Henry. Hello, <laughs> baby. Alright, final round, right here. Oh shoot, I hope Peter will be. It sucks, I think Henry I forgot to loot Peter the Black's body, so Dang. Who oh, will well. measure his skills against? We'll go see Lenhart, if he's there. Master Swordsman from far off Frankfurt. Let us wish the combatants luck. Oh, Vita Zane. All is prepared for the first duel. We will witness a duel with long swords. Oh, right in the guts. I love when Henry gets all fired up. Wildly swinging. Come on. the top move I just can't that is Henry's big weakness Get him bleeding. Oof. I really I can just bleed him out now. That's that's not my style. Yeah. 
That that move, that one in particular, I just can't. Got nothing for it. Yeah, these people are getting their money's worth. Oh, he's about to bleed out. Nice, all right. Whew. One more round. Henry of Scallants. All right, cool. Now, this is probably going to be a long, drawn-out fight right here, because, yeah, it's, these short swords and shields, I always seem to take a while on. With that one than I am. Oh my god, what is happening to the lock on? Definitely gonna close this out, I think. Ha! Oh, oh, that might be the move, though. That might be the move. Oh, we're both bleeding. Need some typing. And he bleeds out quicker than I do. That's round two, baby. That is, that is oh, tournament ladies. number two. In the books. Wives, you have just witnessed the final jewel in the day's bleeding now, just... tournament, for which we all yeah. owe gratitude. Yeah, that's the just... of yeah, the Yeah, thanks. Yep, yep. Congrats. Yep. Glory yep. to yep. the victor, Henry of Scalitz, man at arms in the company of Sir Radzik Kobila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. Hell yeah! Clean this blood up too, will ya? All right, Hanush, where you at? Typically, you're up here, I think. Yes, there you are. Well, hell yeah! All right, second tournament in a row. Thank you, Miss Marin. I believe in you, Henry. Oh, nice! I needed some pauldrons. And also with you. All right. Well, I think that was very well done. Didn't lose a round. Got pretty close. Only had to reload the Black Peter save four times, I think, four or five times, maybe. Yeah. Well, I think first things first, we're going to go get it cleaned up. Since it's free, get a little shave. Going to go get our winnings from Peshik. And I think we'll wind down for the night, my friends. Uh, but what a yeah. great night to spend together. This was a lot of fun. I'm so happy that y'all joined in. An absolute blast. I'm loving the story, and we already... <laughs> Thanks, Black Peter, for the content. Yeah, exactly. He, he certainly did liven up the humor on this. Oh, man. Well, so, yeah, my advice is once you win the... Uh, once you win the, the tournament for the first time, carry Antidote with you. 
too deep. I I'm I love that. Just it's all free. It's just so slick. Love it. Alright, please be here so I can still get my mustache trimmed. And Alright, well. Something for the next stream, I guess. Yeah. Patrick, where's my money? Ah, right on time. Think you knew I was coming for you. Rents doom. Greeting. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, my winnings. Oh, my winnings. All right. There'll be another tourney in a week or so. We'll see. So I'm just gonna place the bet now. Tour. I'm glad to hear. So just so I don't have to worry about it later, I'm just gonna a put nice it in now. Little wager. Boom. Now that's done. All right, sweet. I think we'll go ahead and just pop a seat right there for you. Uh, but I think that is as good a place as any to shut her down for the night, my friends. We got a lot done tonight. We uh, we moved the investigation very far forward. We uh, investigated the Dechko. We found uh, we found Riki and uh, kept him alive, which is great. Hopefully, he'll reunite with his dad and have a nice little uh, honest living life uh, in the future here. But um, yeah, I think this was a lot of fun. We won the tournament for the second week in a row. Very excited about that. So uh, in a couple more wins, we'll have a lot more money and also some sweet new armor. So uh, thank you as always for being here my friends it was such a blast uh love having you around especially on these midweek streams kind of unexpected perhaps but we got another one coming up on monday at 7 p.m to all the new real ones thank you so very much for subscribing tell your friends share the video share the channel we're trying to grow like i said up to 500 uh within the next uh, you know within the next year but hey i want to get that going uh because i just want to see how big these real ones can get here but this was an absolute blast thank you to everyone uh who was chatting up in the chat there great to see you great for hanging out with everyone as well but take care of yourselves take care of each other as always my friends stay real we'll see you on the next one all right take care have a great night